This is an anti-human monster high school where the sons of the great demons come together. Keith, son of Vulcan, who is a mischievous and uneducated man. Dusko, the handsome son of Medusa. Cleo, the mummy's daughter, who loves to show off. Rangona, the siren's daughter, who drinks milk tea with pearls. Goliath, daughter of a mourner, who likes to be buried in peace. This is a monster's paradise. It's a forbidden place where no human should ever set foot. But this is where this human girl dreams of being, because she is a half-demon. Her strange appearance makes her an ostracism in the human world. Once again, she fled to her home in disarray. She also celebrates her 15th birthday. The human father looked at his still sullen daughter. A decision was made in his mind. He took his daughter to a mysterious portal. It was the last thing he could do for his daughter as an ordinary man. Seeing his daughter leaving, he was heartbroken and saddened. He warned her to keep her secret. Ketelin ran sadly towards the sacred place of her heart. She looked at the monstrous beasts that were as strange as she was. She felt a sense of belonging. Here she had two roommates and her future friends. A Frankenstein's daughter who claimed to be only 15 days old. Her brain is a combination of the brains of Einstein, Madame Curie, and Plato. Plato and other famous figures. Her intelligence is far superior to that of ordinary people. The only downside was that it was too power hungry. Another roommate, Dracula, daughter of the vampire Dracula, a bloodthirsty girl who is always ready to turn people away, always a tough and cold figure. And the arrival of Ketelin at Monster High is making waves.